Did you know that there's three main platforms to distribute your Quest games? Depending on how you use each one, you could actually save a ton of time on development or suffer dumping months of work in on a game that was dead on arrival. I'm going to be covering what each one of these storefronts is, what each one has to offer, and how you can use each one when deploying your games, and make sure you don't deploy to the wrong ones and end up wasting a ton of time. If you're new, I'm Fizzful Shrimp. I cover VR development topics and tutorials. The first on the list and your first stop in your development journey is going to be SideQuest. So this is probably my all-time favorite of all the platforms right now. It's a third-party platform that allows users to sideload applications onto their headset. Essentially, what it allows them to do is, well, load whatever application onto whatever Quest or VR device they want, and they'll be able to play it without having to go through the Meta Store. Now, the people who use SideQuest are essentially the hardcore VR enthusiasts who are looking to test out new ideas. This is where people are experimenting and trying out new things before they follow through on the swing and fully develop their game. Compared to the the other storefronts on this list, the requirements to get your game posted on here are a lot lower. As I mentioned, this platform is ideal for testing. Test things out, prototype, and start experimenting is the name of the game on SideQuest. If you can build up some traction and interest on SideQuest, then you probably have a worthy game on your hand that you want to fully build out. Look, game development takes a ton of time and wasting it on a game that you thought would be a hit can easily be avoided by using platforms like SideQuest. And who better to test things out than the people who love VR the most? The community found in SideQuest simply loves VR and they don't mind side loading games and doing a little extra work to try out the newest and most interesting ideas. If you haven't tried out SideQuest yet or even considered it, I'll make sure to leave a link below for you to go check it out. Also, if you need help posting your game on SideQuest, I have a video about that too. Now, I beg you, do not forget about this platform. Use it, explore new ideas, and test out your games before you dedicate all that time into fully building out a game. Now, App Lab is a bit of a weird one. This platform sits in between SideQuest and the Meta Store, and you should look at App Lab like your first entry into the Meta Store. Although it doesn't have as strict as requirements, it still has some that you need to be aware of before they approve your application. First, you'll need a Oculus account and then be registered as a developer. Your app will need to hit certain metrics like consistent frame rates of 72 frames per second. And then on top of all that, you need to make sure that your APK file has the right permissions, which can be a major headache all on its own. So when it comes to submitting something to App Lab, make sure that you've tested it on SideQuest first. But if it's ready to move on to this stage, then yeah, let's get things in tip top shape so it's polished and ready for a submission. The biggest perk to App Lab is that it finally gets rid of having to sideload your game and users will be able to download it directly onto their Quest devices. As it stands right now, users still need to use a direct link to your App Lab game page to download it. So when it comes to exposure, App Lab right now isn't really the greatest choice. Luckily for us, in a few months, with the new announcement of Meta's Horizon operating system, it looks like they are going to start to open up App Lab on their storefront. So now we'll get some decent exposure, but that's not quite out yet. If Meta decides to follow through on their swing and make their own little page on their storefront for App Lab, then I think App Lab's gonna end up playing a pretty pivotal role for all of us in the future. Instead of just exposing our games in uh, side quests, we'll be able to expose it on the quest itself. And that's going to be a bigger audience than just VR enthusiasts on side quests. So we'll have access to any user on the meta ecosystem. So to wrap up App Lab, don't sleep on it because I think in the future it's going to be pretty important, but right now you can probably drag your feet on it, not have to submit things. You might want to just to make sure that uh, your game meets the specs that it requires, but outside of that, yeah. Then we have the Meta Store. This is the final hurdle for any VR developer to cross. By now, you should probably know my opinion on when you should try to use this platform. Once you've tested, iterated, found an audience, and polished your game for first release perfection, it's time to publish on the Meta Store. The requirements to submit onto the Meta Store are pretty similar to App Lab. A lot of the requirements you'll already have overcome when you've submitted to App Lab, but the Meta Store does sprinkle in a few additional more just to make sure it is of top quality to 
be displayed on their store. I've heard a few anecdotal stories that this process can be a bit time consuming and painful. I haven't found myself lucky enough to have developed a game worthy of the meta store, but I did hear it took Gorilla Tag a few months before they were even allowed onto the platform and man, they, I mean, they were already wildly successful before they did. So we'll see if this process gets easier with the new announcement of Horizon OS, but I wouldn't count on it. I think this storefront will will continue to operate similar to Apple's App Store with a great amount of attention spent just to make sure that everything on their platform is going to be, you know, of a higher quality. So go out there, go build a game and test it on SideQuest and then refine it, get it on App Lab, and finally when you're ready, get it on the Meta Store. If you found this helpful, liking is a great way to show some support, and if you need your help getting your games on SideQuest or App Lab, you can check out these videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!